So it wasn't three pounds. It was half that, but that's still a win. The scale is coming down. That's what matters. It's to be expected, people. I've dropped my carbohydrates, so most of that's going to be water. Uh, maybe a tiny, tiny little bit of fat too, just being in the calorie deficit. So over time, the scale is probably going to drop quite rapidly from the removal of carbohydrates as I burn through all my water and glycogen and things. But just for the fact I was eating in abundance, and now I'm not, your body's going to going to drop body weight so it's not all fat a lot of it's going to be water weight especially at the start but it is what it is seeing the scale goes down though is definitely good for the dome piece even if you know why and if you're in a deficit you know you're going to still be pulling off some fat even if it's not the five six pounds is probably going to come off in the first week but the main thing is like i said it's going down so um it's five something now it's a bit later because i've been messing around with my camera obviously you've just seen the weigh-in as well got my list here this is the main thing the power list these are things i need to get done today to win the day and they're basically the same as yesterday keeping it simple stacking the wins man i'm telling you already there's something crazy about writing something down and crossing it off seriously i know people always bang on about it and i thought it was a bit of mumbo jumbo like is it really that deep but i'm waking up with a purpose and then i just even though i kind of I know what I have to do today, but there's something about writing it down and then being able to tick it off. It does something to the brain, man. It just feels good. It, it, it really does, even though it sounds a bit ridiculous. Um, so yesterday, obviously, I crossed everything off. And then I felt content. I seriously did in the evening, especially because I ate better food and stuff, obviously, in a dieting bit. But getting getting the work done I needed to get done and just being able to cross it off, even easy. It just, yeah. Anyway, enough talking about that. So my list, I don't know if you can see it that way. Um, so I wake up at 5 a.m. done. I'll cross that off in a sec. Go for walk. That's what I'm about to do. Um, Going to get dressed. Up. Well, drink some water. Make sure you hydrate, and then head straight out the door. It's pitch black out right now. I could try and show you, but I know it's just going to show my reflection in the window, and I don't think anyone wants to see that. Uh, make a supercar video. So that's for my WWE supercar channel. So I'll do that once I got back from the walk, and then record for new series. I meant to add edits as well because I need to edit some of the stuff I recorded yesterday, and that's the plan. I record basically. So I'll rec anything I record today, I'll edit tomorrow once I got back from the walk and stuff and then get it uploaded later. And it also gives me that day buffer for whatever reason. If I'm out for a day, whatever, I have just that day buffer to be able to catch up. So do that. And then the main thing as well for the weight loss and actually for the, for the mindset mentality, eat carnival. That's all I've got. I haven't even put eat deficit or anything here. It's eat carnival. But the food I've got has got me at about 300, 400 calorie deficit to start with. And then as I adjust, I know my hunger is going to get shot eating this way. It normally does. I normally get very, very full after I've loaded up on a fair, fair amount of meat. So just writing eat carnival for now, not eating a deficit, but I know I'm in a deficit anyway. But making sure I'm eating the no carbs is the main thing for me. So uh, I can't really take you out for the walk because it's just going to be absolutely pitch black. I think there's the odd street light around this around this lake but uh maybe one day maybe one day i'll take you and we can have a chat or something but i don't know maybe not today it's absolutely dark out there i'll see you in the next bit peeps your peeps thought i'll give a mini update as i've been doing this one kind of vloggy style today um unfortunately nothing too exciting but i'll just show you what i've been doing throughout the day and cracking on i say throughout the day it's still early in the morning so i don't know if you can see that it's 7.38, so I've gone for my walk again. It was about 5,000 steps. I was out for about an hour, and that's including driving there and back. So the walk's probably about 40 minutes, and you might be able to see that weird uh, Rey Mysterio poster thing in the background. It's for my other channel, which I have recorded the video for already. Got all that done and dusted, which is great. Working through the list. So my plan is to basically smash out the list as fast as possible, keep grinding on that. So walk done, 5 a.m., um, wake up done, obviously, supercar video done, and now editing and obviously recording for for this channel. So that's what I'm working with right now. Let's see if I can flip you quickly. There we go. You can see I'm working on that video right now. So that would be the video. Well, you would have already seen it, but that's coming out late today, the Friday. So go, going good. And then all I've got left on my list is to eat carnival. I might film in the kitchen. I might not. The only problem is uh, when I eat, there's people coming in and out of the kitchen throughout the day and stuff. So I'm not sure if I'm going to film it. I might just show you my meals now as I talk about them. So what I'm going to be having later is uh, ground beef, 
beef mince and bacon I'll be having that and then as another meal I have some chicken drumsticks too so the calories for the day it's just shy of 3000 so it, it sounds like a lot of calories again I don't know how accurate that is with the well actually a bit less than that it's about 2800 um when I worked out previously because I haven't got eggs today so about 2800 calories which is a good deficit for me uh just making sure I'm eating a lot of food as well, just starting off, especially when I'm changing the way I'm eating, but also it, I don't want my deficit to be too large right off the bat, but I know once I eat kind of this much food for a few days, my hunger does kind of get shot and I do tend to eat less food. And I might even go to OMAD some days and whatever, I'm not uh, being dogmatic in what I'm doing or being very rigid. As long as I'm eating carnivore, that's all that matters to me and I know we're gonna get the results. So didn't do three pounds like i said it was only a pound and a half which is still good start very motivating to see let's see if we can pull off another pound and a half ready for tomorrow so we'll still hit that three pound mark quite quite early but yeah i i think we'll probably do about five six pounds in the first week to be honest with you people that's how it goes so i'll see you tomorrow for the next one peace thank you very much bye bye